Father's love, everyone, and welcome to the Daily Devotional for April the 3rd from our Daily Walk by F.B. Meyer. This one's entitled, The Divided Heart. First verses for today is Matthew 6, 21, 22. It's Matthew chapter 6, verses 21 and 22. Where your treasure is, there will your heart be also. If thine eye be single, thy whole body shall be full of light. James 1, eight, it's James chapter 1, verse 8. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. The closing paragraphs of Matthew 6 are full of instances of a divided heart. The Greek word for care means that which divides. Some are divided by anxiety. The anxious soul cannot take a strong, straight course any more than a man can sleep who is wondering whether he has bolted the front door or wound up his watch. Some are divided by contrariness, a most difficult and complicated disposition of soul. We would like to be pleasant, helpful, agreeable, and amiable, but are conscious of cross currents that restrain and make us awkward and disagreeable, and we find ourselves rent between two strong influences, the one to be Christ-like and gracious, the other to be distant and angular. Others are divided by fitful and passionate impulses. Happy are they who can hold them well in check. Even Paul tells us that he was conscious of these two wills the better self which longed to do the will of God, and the lower, selfish, passionate self which brought him into subjection. St. Augustine tells us that, though the prayers of Monica, his mother, greatly affected him, he was constantly swept back from his ideal by an outbreak of passion. Bunyan also illustrates the same condition saying that two selves were at war within him. The devil came and said, Sell him. But he resisted, even to blood, saying, I won't. But as the tempter continued urging, Sell him. Bunyan finally yielded and suffered an agony of remorse, as on the one hand, he accepted Christ as his only hope, and on the other, was prepared to barter him away. A divided heart lacks the first element of strength. It's unstable. The men who leave their mark on the world are those who can say, this one thing I do. But we need more than concentration. We need consecration. We must not only be united in ourselves, we must be united in God. Let us make the prayer of Psalms 86.11 our own. O oh, nip my heart unto thee, that I may fear thy name. Yield yourself to God, that he may disunite you from the world and weave you into his own life. Our prayer for today. O faithful Father, grant to us, we pray thee, faithful hearts devoted to thee and to the service of all men, for thy sake. Amen. Hope today's devotional blesses you and strengthens you. I'll paste the scriptures here, read over them, and let the Holy Spirit write them in your heart. If you need a Bible, email me. I'd be happy to send one to you. Remember to pray for the children, for our fellow brothers and sisters all around the world, and for those still stumbling through the darkness so that they too can see the light. May our Father bless you. May He keep you. May His grace shine upon you and give you peace. 
See you next time.